Hello students, my name is Kritika and I am your computer digital mentor. Today we are going to start our chapter number 9 that is basic animation in Flash. So in this chapter we are going to learn animation. Yes. So before we start our chapter, here we have some lesson objectives. We have understand timeline and frames. Second, understand animate using keyframe. Third, frame by frame animation. And lastly, and lastly, Twin animation. So, these are some points we are going to discuss in this chapter in detail. So, let's start our first topic that is timeline and frames. The timeline is above the stage in the hash workspace. The timeline which contain layers and frame and framer help you organize assist in your document and also control a document's content over time. Flash document like movies or sound which is measured using frames. The red playhead select which part of the timeline is visible on the stage. Open basic animation or demons, demons frame by frame. FLA and drag the playhead and forth. This is called scrubbing. This is called scrubbing the timeline. Key frames are the only frames you may edit. All key frames have small circles on them. Key frame with visible content have solid circles while blank frame have hollow circles. Click on the several different several different key frames and watch the content on the stage change. You can hide or the lock to lock. Click on the eyeball or lock directly to hide or lock all layers at once. Here you can see the interface of flash. And firstly you can see here hide layer, then here is lock layer, and then here blank keyframe, then frame number, then keyframes with content, and, yeah. and here you can see playhead. Now, here we have adding frame, keyframe, and blank keyframe. So, in this topic, we are going to learn, we are going to add frame and keyframe. So, when you want to build an animation, you will need to add keyframe to the timeline at the point in time which you need to make an edit. There are two main ways to do this. First, you can right click at the junction of the layer and frame and then choose keyframe from the shortcut menu or you can choose insert then timeline from the menus. Once you have pre-selected the proper layer and frame, the following are shortcuts you may use to add different types of frame. So here we have some shortcuts to add different types of frame. Here firstly we have insert frame that is FS that is F5. This adds frame that extend from the previous frame to the select frame. It extends content on the stage but these frames are not editable. Then next we have insert keyframe that is F6. This adds on editable keyframe but it also copies any content from previous keyframe. This is helpful in animating object since it gives you another instance of the object of the object to work with. And lastly we have insert blank keyframe that is F7. This also adds an editable keyframe but it will be blank. This is useful you have ended an you have ended an animation and want to start with nothing in this in that frame. Now open the following demo saved as basic animation demos frame by frame car dot FLA C A R dot FLA. You will find that a car is being animated across the screen. And here you can see the interface. Here you can see the interface of a car in flash. Now Let's start our next topic that is flash storage work. Flash memory is a solid state. Click that maintainer stored, stored date without any external power source. It is commonly used in portable electronic and remo removable storage devices, devices and to replace computer hard drives. And now we are going to learn Changing the passing and timing. The car takes about one second to get from the beginning to the end. This movie plays at 12 frames per second that is FPS. 
to make the car move more slowly we need more frames you could click and drag drag the key frame to a later point on the timeline this will stretch out the length of the animation but it will be jumpy to make it less to make it less jumpy you need not just more frames but more key frames this would allow the car to move less each time giving the illusion of a smooth transition so now students this is how you can move your car smoothly in flash by adding frames or extra key frames now previewing the animation in addition in addition to scrubbing the timeline another way to test the movie is the preview the swf this will actually publish a swf file to the same folder as the dot fla document the swf file the swf file is the file that will play in the internet browser it is the file which must be uploaded to the web server upon completion of the project make sure you publish all relevant file as flash will often create several companion files to help the dot swf file work on a public website during the local preview you will not need to concern yourself with companion files preview the swf by pressing control plus enter that is command plus return on a mac or select control then test move then test now we have some types of animation let's discuss animation refers to the drawing made and compiled in a manner to show movements animation in flash can be done in following ways so first one is frame by frame animation and second tween animation now let's discuss what is frame by frame animation so frame by frame animation changes the content of the stage in every frame it is the best suited to complex animation in which an image changes in every frame instead of simply moving across the stage frame by frame animation increases file size more rapidly than tween animation in frame by frame animation animation cc that is formerly flash professional cc stores the value for each complete frame to create a frame by frame animation define each frame as a key frame and create different images for each frame each new key each new key frame initially contains the same content as the key frame as the key frame preceding it so you can modify the frame in the animation in the animation incrementally so here you can see first we have click a layer name to make it the active layer and select a frame the layer where the animation is to start second if the frame isn't ready a key frame it isn't already a key frame select insert then timeline then key frame third create the artwork for the first frame of the sequence use the drawing tools paste graphics from the clipboard or import a file fourth to add a key frame whose content are the same as the first key frame click the next frame to the right in the same row select insert then timeline then key frame or right click that is on windows or control or control click that is on macintosh and select insert key frame now fifth to develop the next increment of the animation alter the content of this frame on the stage now sixth to complete your frame by frame animation sequence repeat us repeat step 4 and 5 until you have built the desired motion now last and seventh is to test the animation sequence select control then play play or click the play button on the controller that is on windows then toolbar then controller so this is how you can make your frame by frame animation in flash now let's learn about tweened animation how will you tween how will you made tweened animation in flash so short for in betweening the process of generating intermediate frames between two images to give the appearance that the first image involves involves smooth into the second image it is used when you need to when you need to change the shape or position of the object at fixed interval of time tween animation have smaller file size the two types of tween animations are so now here we have 
here we have some types of twin animation the first one is motion twinning second shape twinning and third frame by frame twinning so students before we learn about these before we learn about these three types of motion we have we have an interesting fact to read so what it says twinning is a term coined by the pioneer of flash to denote to denote in betweening now let's learn about motion twin this is one of the basic animation techniques motion twin refers to any object that travel from one point to another and involves no change in shape or size of the object over a period of time however changes may occur in color texture or distance of the object मोशन ट्विन में क्या होता है कि जो शेप जो ऑब्जेक्ट है उसके अंदर कोई चेंजेस नहीं होते बल्कि उसके आसपास के जो ऑब्जेक्ट्स हैं या कलर है या उनका टेक्सचर है उनमें चेंजेस होते हैं तो ये क्या होती है ये होती है मोशन ट्विन नाउ वी हैव एनिमेशन विद अ मोशन ट्विन अ मोशन ट्विन इज अ फीचर अवेलेबल इन इन अडॉप फ्लैश दैट अलाउज यू टू इजिली एनिमेट द मोशन ऑफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट द सेलेक्ट द नंबर ऑफ फ्रेम इन टाइम लाइन यू वुड टू you would to use for the duration of the animation the following demo is saved as basic animation demos clouds done file done dot fla take a look at the completed version it has motion it has motion twin on timeline scrub the timeline and watch how even the cloud animation is also notice the blue section of frames which has been added to the timeline this blue section is is a motion twin in this demo you will see how to create that motion twin first step to motion twin is close the completed file and open basic animation demos cloud.fla examine the existing layer structure and timeline you will find one that is log layer named ground here you can see the interface of the same now second step is add layer and name it cloud third drag an instance of the cloud symbol from the library onto your new layer in whatever you would like to designate as the starting position our example will start on the left and move to the right now fourth single click on the cloud instance now fifth select insert then motion twin or right click and select create motion twin and notice the change to the timeline flash to the timeline flash just added a frame on this layer sixth now drag the red play head to the to the last frame this is where the animation ends seven move the cloud to your desired ending position here you can see the interface along with the steps now our step eight is this path of the animation will follow the line that appears on this stage this line will not appear in your finished product you may treat this line just as you would any other stroke that means you may stretch or bend it any way and the clouds will follow that path each dot on the line represents a frame you can start to see how far your animation will move each frame here you can see the interface of the clouds moving now before we move further here we have an interesting fact that says you can create motion twin only on symbols so first convert the object upon which you want to implement motion twin into into symbol now ninth test the movie by pressing control plus enter command plus enter that is command plus return on mac or select control then test movie then test now 10 th the ground layer only appears for one frame so while your clouds might move the ground disappears after one frame adding frame to the ground layer will fix this check how many frame were added to the clouds layer flash added 24 frames to ours since you want the ground layer to be there the whole time so it should have the same number of frames as the cloud layer now 11 select the frame from the ground layer and press f5 to add frame then that is insert then timeline then frame here is demo in this exercise you will animate an airplane with a motion twin there will be there will be two separate animation the first shows the plane running along the runway 
in the record it is taking off now here you can see first open the file saved as saved as basic animation slash exercise slash airplane slash dot fla it is shown below now second Notice that the layer structure matters the cloud demo. In fact, you may use your cloud file in this exercise if you prefer. And here you can see the interface. And here you can see the interface. Now third, add a new layer and name it airplane. Fourth, select the new layer and open the library. Drag an, ins drag an instance of an airplane onto the first key onto the first keyframe of the new layer. Now here you can see the interface along the step, along with the step. Now step 5, single click on the airplane instance that is to select it and add a motion twin by right clicking or choosing insert then motion twin for the menu, from the menu. Now 6th, flash just added the default number of frame for a new twin that is about 24, drag the playhead from 12 or about halfway to the end of the animation. Now position the airplane about halfway across the screen. Here you can see the interface along with the step. Now step 7, to complete the second part of the animation that is to taking off, drag the play head to the last frame and reposition the airplane once again that is see below here. This time position the, this time position the plane in the air at the end of the timeline. Here you can see the interface for the same step. Now we have 8. When you run the movie, you might decide that it is moving too quickly. By adding more frame, the animation will take more time for layer with twins. You can simplify, you can simply drag the end of the last keyframe to the sum frame in the future, like frame 50. On layer without twins, Use a control plus click and then drag the end of the last frame to a later frame. Here you can see the interface for the same step. Now ninth, adjust your animated, adjust your animation until you are satisfied. Test the movie to watch your animation. This is how you can animate with twin animation. Now before we move further here again we have an interesting fact that says you can create motion twin only on symbols. So first convert the object upon which you want to implement a motion, motion twin into symbol. Now we have shape twinning. In this topic we are going to learn shape twinning. In shape twinning you draw a direct tone shape at one specific frame in the timeline and change that shape and change that shape or draw another shape at another specific frame. Shape twinning is a term used in Macromedia Flash to refer to the transition from one shape to another. Before we, before we can create our twin, we are going to need the shape that will be used to produce the twin, produce the twin effect. Animate then interpolates the intermediate, the intermediate shape shapes for the frame in between creating the animation of one shape morphing into another creating a simple motion twin is very easy process you need at least two vector shape the initial shape and the final shape you merely select the frame type you merely select the frame type as shape twin to make the first shape morph into the another into the other during playback of the movie Let's do this step by step. So, first of all, in a new flash file, draw a circle in frame 1. In the same layer, insert a blank keyframe in frame 10. Now, that is, right click that frame and select insert blank keyframe. And here you can see the interfaces along with the each paragraph. Now, Draw a square in there. The sizes, posi positions, colors of both objects do not matter. All that matter is that they are in the same layer. Now, to do the magic trick, you have to select the first frame that you create. You do that by clicking on frame 1 of your layer. 
in the timeline then you have to change the twin type from the properties inspector if you cannot see this window you can show it by going to window then properties in the properties inspector simply change the twin shape you should notice that the frame color changes to green when shape twin is used you are not required to make any more changes to see the effect working you can just hit enter on your keyboard to see the animation rolling here you can see the interface for the same paragraph now you can easily make this square in turn morph to another shape you do that by repeating the process in this case we can add another blank keyframe at frame 20 draw a circle this time in there now select frame 10 on your layer and change the twin in the properties panel to shape to shape that should do it. Now, here you can see the interfaces for this same. So, students, before we move further, here we have again a new interesting fact. Make sure that your graphics will have to be shape, will have to be shapes, and you must not convert them into symbols if you want to use the shape twin. Our example was a very basic example of how to make a morphing effect in flash. We have used only one shape in each frame. While in reality, you can put as many shapes in any frame if the number of shapes in the first frame is less than those. Less than those in the second frame, the shape will divide to create the new shape. If the case was the opposite, the shape will combine to make up the new shape. Now, frame by frame. Frame by frame mean you will have to do it example in frame, you draw a square and in frame 20, you change that square to a triangle. So students, now you know about everything we use in flash, frames, keyframes, shapes and its components and its tool. So this is it from this chapter. So what we have learned in this chapter, let's revise by some key points. First, Flash is an effective tool used to create animations for the web pages. So, Flash is an effective tool that we can web pages to web pages pe animation dalne ke liye kar sakte Frames contained in each layer appear in a row to the right of the layer name. Flash ke andar hum jo bhi frames use karte hain, wo ek layer mein, layer name ke top right corner mein, ek hi layer mein hume dikhai de jate hain. Third, the timeline header at the top of the timeline indicates frame numbers. Timeline header ke andar hume frame ke numbers dikhai de sakte hai. Now, playhead indicates the current frame display on the stage. As the document plays, the playhead move displayed on the stage. As the document plays, the playhead move from left to right through timeline. Flash supports the types of animation, frame by frame animation and Twin animation. So flash ke andar hum do types animation kar sakte hai. First one is frame by frame animation and twin animation. So students, we have learned about both the animation in this chapter in very detail. Now, lastly, in frame by frame animation, you change content for each frame in the timeline. So frame by frame animation mein hum har, kar, hum har frame mein, har frame ke content mein changes kar sakte hai. Okay. So students, this is it from this chapter. Soon we are going to learn about many interesting chapters of computer. Till then, revise what we have learned today. Thank you.